Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Hello everybody, Lewis, Norwich City Centre. I hope you're all doing well. I certainly am after that. What a win for Norwich. And I, I am in love with this Norwich City team at the moment. Sheffield Wednesday 1, Norwich City 2. Norwich City fell behind early on in the in the first half through Jordan Rhodes' goal. Uh, but a brilliant second half performance and a brilliant turnaround with goals from Timu Puki and Todd Cantwell ensuring Norwich City get a win and move another step closer to, uh, to promotion and, and potentially winning the title as well. What a brilliant win that was. Um, I've already uploaded my match reaction on the channel, so please feel free to go and watch that. In this video, it's going to be another social media reaction. I've been really enjoying these and been really enjoying hearing your guys' thoughts. Um, please comment your thoughts down below in, in the comment section as well, and I will get back to you on just how good Norwich City are at the moment. Because through lockdown, it's, you know, it's, it's been tough for some people, but football and sport is a great distraction and escapism, like so many other things are in life. And this Norwich City team is providing so much entertainment. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. And if you want to get involved in these videos, then do please, please feel free to follow my socials, which will be in the description. I'm on Twitter and Instagram. And also the Norris City Central shop. The link for that will be in the description. Let's see how social media have reacted to Norris City. Get another big three points and, um, you know, move a step closer to the motion. Baltimore Canary will never understand the particular criticism of Toddy. What a talent. Works so hard. So committed to this club. Makes so much happen. So pleased for him today. Just an incredible goal. Yeah, two stunning goals and particularly Todd Cantwell's on his weaker left foot. A beautiful finish. And yeah, Todd Cantwell does get a lot of criticism. I don't know why that is. That I think if you're comparing Todd and Emmy, I still think Emmy's the better footballer. Um, but yeah, Todd does get a lot of criticism from a from a selected group of fans, I think, as well. Um, and it's it's always been the same. I think the Murphy's got a lot of criticism, and um, perhaps when it wasn't warranted. And there always seems to be this thing, particularly where maybe some Norwich fans criticise some of their own more and want more from them. But yeah, Todd Campbell, an absolutely stunning performance. And you know, sometimes he can be inconsistent, but. Todd is a brilliant player and doesn't deserve, I think, the criticism sometimes he gets. Um, and, you know, sh showed a, a brilliant performance, particularly in that second half today and a lovely goal to win the game. And, um, you know, I love seeing youth academy players coming up and doing really well. And that's what Todd's done. Um, Julian Roberts, all credit again, must go to Farker. What a turnaround this season. Yep. Daniel Farker's breaking records. I mean, Norris City are breaking records and so is Timu Puki. Um, this is a team full of record breakers. Um, and Daniel Farker has done a brilliant job um, and yeah, full credit to him. Great tactical um, awareness as well in this game in the second half to kind of push us up a little bit more up the pitch um, and, and, and pressing more as well. It really worked. And as I said, this this team, the manager, the team, the individual players like Timo Pukki are, are full of record breakers and it's it's been such an enjoyable season. Um, Emi Buendia, this man magic today, four tackles, two interceptions, one block, 10 duels won, 13 ball recoveries, fouled five times, key assist for the winner. Yep, Emi Buendia, um, I mean, in the first half, it was really hard. I think four or five men were kind of marking at Emi Buendia at some points in the game and Sheffield Wednesday made it very hard for us to kind of attack because they um, overloaded the middle and, you know, it was very tough for Emi to get in the game. But even in that first half, provided a... A really good chance for Pookie. And in the second half, as Sheffield Wednesday began to tire, he was instrumental. He did look like he could have potentially got injured as well, but managed to run it off. And I'm so glad he did as well, because it was a brilliant, brilliant second half performance from Emmy. And just the assist for the Todd Cantwell's winner was so special. Brilliant tackle to break up the play. A lovely through ball. And yeah, Emmy Wendy, it's so important that we've kept Emmy and Todd. And um, yeah, brilliant from Emmy today. Um, social media have reacted as well. Ben saying, been saying for weeks that Dow deserves a chance. He's earned it today now with that performance. Rook is not a number 10. Lucas Rook still hasn't scored a Norris City goal. And that number 10 role has certainly been up for grabs. I think Mario Rancic has played there the most. Um, but he's probably not a number 10. He's probably better in that deeper role. And Kieran Dow came on today for 30 minutes and looked very impressive. He's come back from his long-term injury and I hope he does very well in a Norris City shirt. Um, NCFC numbers, go follow them on Twitter, some brilliant statistics. Uh, fewest games to reach 50 championship goals this century. Team of Pookie, 75. And then a list of other names as well, 74, 87, 94. Only seven players other than Team have scored their first 50 in fewer than 100 games. Team of Pookie continues breaking records. This Norris City team continue breaking records. Um, yeah, 75 appearances, 50 goals in the championship. That is utter insanity. And Team of Pookie's blowing I mean blowing all the statistics away brilliant brilliant from Timu today lovely finish and as, as I've said 
he's breaking statistics and we're so so lucky to have him you know works hard off the ball um and he's clinical and he's a finisher and even in the premier league 11 goals in a team that finished 20th is a good return uh yeah absolutely delighted for team and what a performance from him today thomas mcgreevy going to wednesday and having road score within 10 yet get full three points wow you've got to believe yeah there's been you know norwich city fans would kind of know the acronym the long come norwich where norwich city always seem to muck up against teams you wouldn't expect and sheffield wednesday coming 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 into the game losing six in a row despite having a lot of talented players norwich city winning seven in a row and then five minutes in jordan rose gets a really lucky goal you're thinking it might not be a day but you know norwich city are not are not a team who let that those kind of things bother them now they're a team who go to the end show amazing fitness show amazing character and that's what we did and we deserved the win and i feel i feel for sheffield wednesday you know they're they've got a brilliant fan base and a, you know a, a really big club but norris city today were, were excellent uh will jennings stunning stunning win those two pookie and cantwell belters and buendia's tacky will all firmly go down in 2020 2021 promotion folklore this team really has something special i agree this team is something special um yeah Pookie and Cantwell, brilliant finishes. And Buendia's tackle as well has to be mentioned in there because that was key in those goals. North Wales, Yellows, um, great finish from Timu and Todd, but Emmy's tackle to set up Todd for this goal was fantastic. Yep, a lot of social media praising just Emmy and Todd Cantwell's involvement in, in, in that second goal. And with Emmy and Todd, it's been an interesting one, hasn't it? And September seems a long way away now. What is it, September? About seven months ago. Norris City had just been relegated from the Premier League um, down into the Championship. Um, they, they, they broke all kinds of bad records in the Premier League. They were terrible after lockdown. And Emmy Buendia and Todd Cantwell, there were some issues in September and even going into October where Daniel Farker came out and said Emmy and Todd attitude was really poor. And it was a really interesting one because it did look very likely that Emmy, more so Todd, was going to leave Norwich City Football Club. And it was very weird to see Daniel Farkas single out those players and maybe not the likes of Max Ahrens and Ben Godfrey who were, who were there at the time. Um, and it was a really interesting dynamic, that one with Emmy and Todd. It feels so long ago now and it doesn't matter that that dynamic was really interesting. And I remember thinking at the time, it's so important if Norwich City want to bounce back to the Premier League that we keep Emmy, Emmy and Cantwell and we get them back on side. And Daniel Farke has done that. So full credit to Farker and full credit to Buendia and Cantwell because particularly someone like Buendia, he, he's, he's a top class player and he shouldn't be at Norwich City. Um, he should be playing you know, towards the top clubs in the divisions. His statistics show that, but he's, he's knuckled down really well. And it was superb from Emmy today and then superb from Todd with that beautiful goal. Um, Phil May, champions find a way to win. Pure class on the Ball City. Wish I was at Hillsborough Corner today. Yep. The one kind of still the bad thing about this all is that you know fans can't be at Carrow Road, but I'm sure in the summer there'll be a bus parade or something like that. And hopefully, you know, come August, Carrow Road will be full again. Um, it'll be a lot safer to go to these venues and we can see some, you know, these players play Premier League football. Um, and fun, finally, Harry Baker, ridiculous from Campwell, but Boindia to win that 50 50 and then create another clear cut chance is unreal. Yep, and that's the difference, isn't it? Keeping Boindia, keeping Campwell, you know, keeping Max Aarons, keeping Timmy Pukki, that was the difference, and we really showed our class today up against the Sheffield Wednesday team who are out of form but have got some very decent players. So that's how social media have reacted. A lot of praise for Todd, a lot of praise for Timu, who's you know breaking all sorts of records, and this team are breaking all sorts of records thank you for watching the social media reaction um if you are new to the channel please do subscribe and consider following the socials as well thank you for watching on the ball city and i'll see you later